Well, there are badasses and then there's Roy Benavides. In 1965, Roy Benavides, he stepped on a landmine, boom, during a patrol in Vietnam and was evacuated to the United States. Doctors at the time said he could never walk again and began preparing his medical discharge papers. Well, Roy was uh, willing to fight. He began a nightly training ritual. Well, the doctors did not tell him to train. It was his own... Um, his own will and in attempt to regain his ability to walk again and guess what he did it and guess what else he wanted to go back to vietnam well on the 2nd of may 1968 during the vietnam war there was an operation to save his wounded comrades because they were wounded they couldn't move to the helicopter to the pickup zone so Roy Benavides, he jumped from the hovering helicopter 30 to 50 feet, that's 9 to 50 meters in the air, and he ran 75 meters under heavy small arms fire to the team. I should mention his only weapon was a knife when he jumped from helicopter. While he was running to his comrades, he was wounded on his right leg, face and head. When he reached the team, Benavides was severely wounded by small arms fire in the abdomen and grenade fragments in his back. Later, the aircraft pilot was fatally wounded as well and his helicopter crashed. Although he was critically wounded, Benavides secured the classified documents and made his way back to the ruins of the helicopter, where he aided the wounded out of the aircraft and gathered shock survivors into a defensive formation. Well, under heavy fire, he moved around the squad and distributed water and ammunition to the men. Then he called for airstrikes and another rescue attempt. Well, he was then shot in the thigh a couple of more times. While he was going towards the second rescue helicopter, he was stabbed by an enemy. He killed the enemy in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, well, despite his wounds. Well, when they finally made it back to the base, he was pronounced dead and put into a body bag. As they were zipping up the body bag, he spat in the doctor's <laughs> face with his only remaining strength to let him know that he was still alive. He survived these wounds and received the Medal of Honor. Well, you won't get the Medal of Honor for subscribing, but you will get some interesting material. So, thank you for listening. Goodbye.